Hold it right there. A blonde-haired traveler and a floating fairy. We've got you, all right. Take a look around. You've fallen right into our trap. <laughs> Are you mercenaries from the Corps of Thirty? Did you come here to arrest us? Corps of Thirty? We're nothing like those government lapdogs who don't even get scraps for their work. We are an elite brigade that commands the highest commission rate in all of Sumeru. We're here on the orders of a client known only as the Outcast. The Outcast? An Outcast from the Academia? But why wouldn't the Doctor just send the Fatui after us? Still wasting time on idle chit-chat. We'll shut you up soon enough. Get them! Uh, you're up, Traveler! Huh, I'm here. Stay on our special! Go! Right this on the sun! Scatter! Terminate! <laughs> You've been a naughty boy. Surrender and I'll be gentle. You need... I'll get you. That's close enough. Huh. New punch. Oh, it isn't over yet! Here comes reinforcements! Look at you, Boozell! Scatter! Spring for it! Come a little closer. <laughs> that was pretty rough. Is that what elite mercenaries are like? Yeah, looks like we'll have to keep our guards up. But this doctor guy seems like a pretty tough opponent. He knew exactly where to set up an ambush. Did he predict that we would try to find Kainari? Ugh, going up against smart people is tough. Anyway, let's keep going. I will hold my head up high. I won't hesitate no more. So I can be the one right by your side Don't give up, hope shining I won't be afraid I'm gonna carry on Oh, oh. I used to think there's no way That I could become someone who you look up to But just know now I will be there to protect you Tears that we have shed, they show us that we have the strength we need. So let's go and face our fears, even though it gets so hard to believe in our shared dreams. We can let the hardships overwhelm and surprise us easily. Just as long as we endure on this journey together, we will find that if we don't give up, we'll get just what we need. As we see the source of light, of our future shining bright, we will find the tears and hardships are to fade for you and me. I won't hesitate no more, and I'll hold my head up high. All the wonders of this world I see when you're here next to me. Oh, it's the Traveler and Paimon. What are you two doing back here? Kalei, it's nice to see you again. Are you doing all right? I... To be honest, I'm not doing too well. My Elazar has been progressing at a faster rate lately. I'm finding it harder to complete more intricate tasks. As a result, Master Tainari is taking me off the patrol schedule. He will only allow me to stay here and coordinate other people's tasks. Speaking of Tainari, did he go off on patrol? We're here to talk to him! Oh, Master Tainari? He just left the Avidia Forest a little while ago. He was headed to Party's DI. Huh? He left? But isn't Tainari always saying that he never wants to leave the Avidia Forest? He even turned down the Sage's invitation! I thought it was weird too. 
Master Tainari always prioritizes his work as a forest watcher above everything. He almost never leaves his post. He left in a hurry this time, though. No, I only found out that he left through a message he left behind. He also made sure to delegate all his tasks using a schedule. <sighs> to leave in such a hurry? I'd guess he had something urgent to take care of. Hmm. Master Tainari originally studied in the Amorta Darshan of the Academia, and part of the eye is something like the Amorta's research base. Many rare shrubs and grasses have been planted there for research. I know that before he became a forest watcher, Master Tainari once spent a long time conducting research at Pardis the Eye. A research base, huh? Gotta wonder what kind of research Tainari just decided to work on all of a sudden. Oh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go look for him at Pardis the Eye. Uh, don't worry, I'm fine. I'm used to living with Elazar by now. If you run into Master Tainari, please send him my regards. Got it. Will do. See you later, Kale. Wait! Look who it is! Thank goodness you're okay. We were so worried about you. Hey! This was supposed to be a touching reunion, but you're ruining the moment! Actually, it's very smart of the Traveler to be wary of me right now. After all, the Doctor has shown that his technology can apparently even control human minds. Plus, it's not like you could have known what happened after we split up and I was facing the Doctor by myself. Even a pool of stagnant water after a torrential storm can occasionally pass as a patch of sky. Hmm. Paimon feels like only the real Nahida could come up with such an obscure analogy. Huh? But I wasn't trying to win your trust or anything. All I wanted was to clarify my point. Well, we understand that point now. Please, Nahida, tell us more about what happened. Are those poor people alright? When you left, I was still in the middle of restoring everyone's minds. Thankfully, when the doctor mentioned depositing information into the subconscious, he didn't mean engraving information into their minds. Instead, he did something closer to creating hallucinations. That was still within my power to fix. Luckily, I managed to finish my restorations and mind jump away from him just as he was about to capture me. Whew. What a relief. The doctor sure pulled out some hidden cards, but good thing we had Nahida with us. I wouldn't be relieved just yet. I gave away my true identity when I restored everyone's minds, which means we've lost another one of our trump cards. Also, the doctor is already an expert at modifying Akasha terminals. Maybe it's only a matter of time until he captures my consciousness inside the Akasha. Would that mean you'd no longer be able to jump between minds? Then... how do we stop him? He's still at the Academia, so... It's possible he already started messing with the Akasha. Ugh... It feels like he's toying with us. What a nasty piece of work. Plus, the Doctor's combat ability alone is apparently enough to make him worthy of being number two of the Fatui. We shouldn't give up hope just yet. Let's try to find another way to attack this problem. Actually, Nahida, how did you know we were trying to get to Party Stii? Have you been waiting for us? Yes, I have. I can see the Traveler's elemental energy, so I deduced your destination by looking at the direction you were moving in. You didn't come here for sightseeing, right? Did you find any leads? We're looking for a scholar we know. His name is Tainari, and the sages once tried to reach out to him. Why don't you come inside with us and see what we can find? Okay. Let's just hope we won't get him into trouble. Traveler? It is you! Ah, what a pleasant surprise! It's so nice to see the two of you again. Who's this? She's a scholar we met in the Avidia Forest. 
when we last saw each other, she was still training in the... Uh... What's it called? Satyavada life? Oh, I see. That's right, we're old friends. Uh, you've come at just the right time. Ever since I've come here, hardly anyone has even talked to me. Apasia, you're way too excited about this. Actually, for you to leave the Avidia Forest means... Oh, you're not in training anymore? Wait, no. Did you already finish your training and reach Pariporna life? <laughs> what do you think? My consciousness has already managed to make contact with the Divine. Ooh. You did it? Congratulations! <laughs> it's so exhilarating to share this sublime joy with others at long last! When my consciousness made contact with the gods... Ah, uh, what a supreme and unparalleled experience that was! That sounds incredible! Oh, all right. Uh, actually, please wait. I haven't forgotten my promise to you. Remember? I promised to help you understand what you saw from Ermansoul once I gained deeper insights. My current self has not only gained true insight, but I can even help you establish a direct connection to the consciousness of the Divine. You... you can do that? I've never heard of anything like that, but... If you want to give it a try, I'll do my best to protect your consciousness during the process. Hold on. I brought some spirit borneal with me. This is still a crucial part of the ceremony. Uh, we're using that incense again? Alright now. Hold my hand. I'll help you establish a pathway to connect your consciousness. Okay. Ready? It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god. My creator. My mother. Valuing strength above all, she saw no worth in me and I was discarded. The second was a human. My family. My friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality, he broke his promise to me. Humans, they can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounce the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> there is no need to fear. The pain will be brief. Your era is coming to an end. Everything matches what we know about him. 
But how is he connected to the divine consciousness that Hapasia was talking about? You saw it, right? You felt it, right? Oh, such a majestic god! Such a noble will! Such sublime emotion! Alas, shame! If only... If only that which beats within my chest wasn't a filthy mortal heart! Oh, oh great and merciful god! Please grant me forgiveness and salvation! Do you understand now? I'm afraid this is no puri porn life, but rather... Ah! You! Why are you so mean to me? Why is everyone hiding from me? I found divine wisdom. Shouldn't I receive praise and honor? Haven't I uncovered that light in the darkness? Apeja? That's how I always thought everything should be. Wait... Have I... Already lost my mind? Wait, something isn't right! Oh, the Traveler's back? Nahida was controlling your body for a while. It seemed like she jumped over to you as an emergency measure right before the Catherine puppet was destroyed. After that, Tainari heard the commotion and came over. He helped us defeat the mercenaries and then he ran with us all the way here. What? You swapped places? You mean your consciousness also went into Nahida's body? Wait, then where is Nahida's consciousness? Where is she now? <sighs> I never imagined that an individual's consciousness could be transferred around like this. Had I not seen it with my own eyes, I would have never believed it. I don't think this can be achieved with current human technology. Also, while we were running, the consciousness in your body told me to pass on a message. She said, the doctor has found a way to trap my consciousness, so I can't journey with you anymore. But even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. <sighs> oh no! He is trapped in the sanctuary of Surus Donna for good this time! Was that message all she left for us? It's pretty vague. Oh, that makes sense! Since the doctor captured her, she won't be able to say anything without him knowing! She's being extra careful. Even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Huh. Paimon knows the moon illusions and lies are from the alchemical divination at the Subzeru's festival. 
Didn't Nahida use a starlight analogy before? It had something to do with Sataria. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Huh. Do you think Nahida was telling us to go find help in the desert? But she isn't with us anymore. Uh, think we'll be okay? Paimon. You said Sanctuary of Suristana. Does this mean that this Nahida you're talking about, the consciousness who was occupying the Traveler's body, is... the Dendro Archon? Uh, your guess is correct, but the situation's a bit complicated, so it's really hard for us to explain right now. That's all right. A scholar's curiosity doesn't need to be appeased right away. As for the complicated nature of the situation, Safe to say, I have witnessed that for myself. I've spent some time with you, and it looks like the Dendro Archon's also on your side, so... I trust you. Thank you, Tainari! Oh, actually, we came here to ask you a question. What do you know about the project that the Sages have been working on? Ah, that... While I was indeed invited to join that project, the Sages were always secretive about its scope and goals. So I eventually declined. All I know is that that project has something to do with the restoration of Ermensol. Huh? Did you see something when you were in Nahida's body? What? Do you have any evidence? Hmm. Hmm, so that's what happened. That explains why Hapasia's symptoms were different from those of the other scholars who went mad. It's because she made contact with the consciousness of a new god who is still in the process of being born. Tainari, did you leave the Avidia Forest because of Hapasia? I did. I noticed Hapasia's mental anomalies, but since her symptoms were rather atypical, I secretly took her to Pardee's DI and began searching for a way to return her to her normal self. If I didn't take action, Hapasia would have already been taken by the Matra to the desert, doomed to a life of exile at Aru Village. Now that you mention it, I knew the Academia has never thought particularly highly of Lesser Lord Kusanali, but... But I still didn't expect them to do something as arrogant as creating a new god. Looks like I made the right decision by not accepting their invitation. The Doctor and the Balladeer. We have two Fatui Harbingers in Sumeru. Sounds like we're in for a bad time. From your description, I don't think they've completed their project. There may still be room for us to intervene. But then... What is the connection between creating a new god and restoring Ermensoul? Yeah, it feels like we're still nowhere close to figuring out the sage's goals. Right, we've pretty much gone over everything we need to know, so we should head out. How about you, Tainari? What are you going to do? I'll stay here for now. I still want to try a few more things to help Papasia. If you're planning to go into the desert, start by heading for Caravan Rabat. That'll be your fastest route. Come find me here if there's anything else I can do to help. May the Spirit of Wisdom go with you. Thanks, Tainari. Hopefully, Hapasia will feel better soon. We're off then. So many people in Sumeru want to become scholars. Motivated by this ambition, they all study really hard to try and achieve it. But Paimon bets that the first ever scholar didn't set out to become a scholar. Hmm. So what do you think the first ever scholar's ambition was? Probably to get their research paper written as quickly as possible. Huh? But isn't a scholar's ultimate goal supposed to be pursuing the highest and greatest knowledge or something? Paimon's sure that it must have been because of a fervent desire for knowledge that they became Sumeru's first true scholar. Writing papers is how you pursue knowledge. But what about when it's the highest and greatest knowledge of all? 
Even then, if you wanted to prove it, you'd need a research paper. And after that, you'd need to start working on another paper to validate your original thesis. Uh, okay, Paimon's got it! Come on, don't look so sad. It's not like you have to worry about writing papers yourself. <laughs> you, you've never had to write a paper before, right? 